Hey everyone, so I have a, quite a big haul for you today. Now, I'm actually ill, so I do apologise if I sound like a complete idiot, but I just wanted to film this video and get it uploaded so I can sort everything out, because at the moment it's just been sitting in the box for the past couple of days, because I've just not had any voice to do this video. Um, so yeah, this haul is going to consist of horse products, dog products, cat products and small animal products as well so you've got a bit of everything in this video today so yeah let's go ahead and get started so I'll start off with the horse stuff first so some of this stuff isn't very interesting it's basic essentials which I need for Storm so these things might be a little bit boring but the first thing I picked up was just a new yard brush so I went into Aldi and they've got like loads of special offers on at the minute so I thought I'd just go ahead and pick up a new yard brush so it's basically, you know, I think everyone knows what a brush looks like, but it's like really, really, really good quality and this should hopefully work really well in the stable because the brush I have at the minute is too soft and it doesn't really brush things up. So I just thought I'd go ahead and get this one. So the bristles are really good quality and hopefully they'll do the trick. So for this, it was only 2 99 which I thought was a really good price and seeing as it's only going to the yard, I don't mind if it gets broken and things because of it was super cheap. So again the next two things I bought from Aldi were also basic essentials so as you can see I went ahead and bought the 43 litre garden tubs so these work brilliantly for water. Now Storm is drinking quite a lot at the minute because it is warmer so I'm going to put these two buckets in his stable then put the bucket which I have in his stable in the field because of I like my water buckets and things to match so I thought I'd just get two of the same and then he, he knows basically well I know which ones is his because of on the yard we all kind of had like our own colours and things so Storm is green and blues and things like that and like my friends are purple and then someone else's is pink um it's just so that we all know whose is whose and we don't end up getting mixed up. So these tubs are really, really good. They're flexible. They've got handles on them just there. This light is like blinding you all. I am sorry. Um, but yeah, for these, it was only 2 99 which again, really good price. So if they get broken, I don't really mind. But these are really good quality and they do last a long time as well. So like I said, they are brilliant water buckets. So... I just got two of those. So the next thing I got for Storm again is kind of like another essential which I think you should have. So I went ahead and bought him a fly mask to go with his fly rug. So I'm not too sure if you can see but it's the one with the eyes on. And then on the nose piece just here it has a little butterfly. So obviously this is in the size pony and it also has the little ear bits on it as well. So I thought this was really cute and it's got like velcro just so that it all stays on and things so Storm can't take it off. Then it's also got a little hole in the top where you can loop his forelock through. Again, so it just helps him um, not to try and take it off. But I thought this was really cute. But if you actually look on the inside, you can't tell that it's actually got like white um, eyes and things on the front of it. Just so that it's not going to annoy Storm when he looks through it. So the fly mask was from eBay and it was only $6.99 with free postage so I thought that was a real bargain and it is also really good quality as well so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up for him so he's going to get bullied in the field because he's got a draft fly rug and also that um, fly mask so he's going to look a little bit silly but he's going to look really cute at the same time so that is just what I got from eBay. So the next thing that I got for Storm were from Viovet now. I did actually buy quite a lot from Viovet, but I'm just going to show you the horse products first because of, I think it's easier showing like horse products first than like dog products, cat products and everything like that. But um, I just bought him the main comb. Now Storm really does need his mane doing and basically this isn't a normal comb, it's actually got a blade inside it so it can cut it at the same time. So I don't want to pull Storm's mane so... I thought if I get this it might be a little bit nicer for him because I really don't like people who pull manes and stuff because it must really really hurt the horses so I decided to go ahead and buy one of these for him so as you can see it's got a little blade inside um, and obviously as you're combing through it you can like cut it and basically just make the mane look a little bit tidier so with Storm if you've seen pictures his forelock desperately needs doing so I thought if I get one of these it just makes things a little bit easier 
so for this it was £6.55 and then I did also go ahead and just get the spare blades as well so you get five blades in the packet and that's basically what they look like so I thought whilst I'm buying the comb I might as well buy the blades as well so for these it was only £1.85 so again super cheap and fingers crossed they won't go blunt too quickly so the next two things I bought Storm, you may have already seen one of these in a previous haul video but seeing as you liked it so much I thought I'd go ahead and buy him another one. So I just bought him one of the Vitamunch treats. So basically it's just like a big hay block and it's got lots of different things in it. So it's high fibre, low sugar and it's got no cereal in it. So it's got vitamins A, B, C, D and E in and it's got biotin, copper and zinc added in it as well. So if you just take a look on the back that is basically what is inside there so it is a nice healthy treat for him and it does last him quite a lot of time and you can either soak it or put it in a bucket or put it in a net and um, this is also suitable for um, obese horses and also lammy horses as well so I thought I'd just go ahead and buy one of them so for that it was only £2.95 which is cheaper than Robbie's so hence the reason why I ordered one and then to go along with that I did also order the net it can go in because I put it in a really big net and Storm struggled to eat it so I did actually buy the net which is designed for it so I'll just quickly show you it is very tiny so perfect size for the block so I got it in blue obviously because Storm's colours are either blue or green so for that net it was £2.70. Now that is a little bit expensive for a super tiny net but for something I'm going to continuously use I thought I'd go ahead and buy one. And then the last thing I bought for Storm is just this. So I bought him a High Shine Pro Groom face brush. So at the moment we don't really have a decent face brush for Storm so I did want to get him one. So as you can see the bristles are either like blues and pinks and purples and things and then the actual um brush itself is just light blue and dark blue so I do actually have quite a few high shine um, grooming products already so I thought I might as well just get this just so that it kind of fits into my grooming kit because I am very fussy about what's in my grooming kit and it does have to match um, in some way now I am like really fussy when it comes to stuff like that but I thought I'd just get a new face brush now this is super 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 soft and I do really like it so fingers crossed he'll let me go near his face a little bit more now because at the moment he won't let me brush his face so hopefully once he feels how soft this is he will let me go near his face a little bit more so for this it was only £1.59 so again super okay, cheap. Okay so moving on to what I got the cats from town you've probably seen these in my haul videos a hundred times before but I just went ahead and bought them some more Go Cat Crunchy and Tender because they are running out and this is their all-time favourite treat and I do say in every video this isn't their daily um biscuit because it is very unhealthy it is simply a treat so for this i think it's about usually two pound a bag so i did get it for a, a pound a bag hence the reason why i got one of each flavor but we got the chicken and turkey flavor the salmon and tuna flavor and then we also got the beef and chicken flavor and to go along with the go cat i did also give them another little treat so for the cats I did also just buy two bottles of the Whiskers cat milk so this gets um, split in half and they do share a bottle between two of them because one cat won't drink a bottle to itself. So again these were a pound and these were from Wilkinson's and um, everything was from Wilkinson's so these are the 200ml bottles so they have a nice little treat to share between them as well. So next moving on to what I got for the dogs, most of these are toys and you've probably seen them before in my videos because my dogs just chew their toys all the time but um, the first thing I got is something which I was really really excited about so I did just go ahead and pick them up even though they don't need them but I went ahead and bought the doy, the doys, I went ahead and bought the boys a bag of Scooby snacks so these are adult dog treats now these are chicken flavour and they've got no added sugar in and they're basically just like little meaty treats. Now I found these in Poundland and it was the last packet but I did want to get some more but they didn't have any so I just picked up one but I just wanted them because they, they were Scooby Snacks and it had Scooby Doo on the front and I have an obsession with Scooby Doo even though I'm 20 I absolutely love Scooby Doo. Um, 
which may sound pretty weird, but um, basically that is just the um, composition and everything. I'm not too sure if you can see because the light is reflecting really, really badly because it's really sunny this morning. But um, yeah, for a pound, I thought I'd just go ahead and pick those up for the boys just so that it's something a little bit different for them. And then the next two things I picked up were just a packet of squeaky bones. So these were from um, the 99p store actually. So I got a pack with red and purple and then orange and green. So as you guys know, my boys absolutely love toys. They completely destroy them. So I don't really spend all that much money on them. Usually I'd buy a toy which is like three, four pound, but because they just chew them up, I don't see the point anymore. So I just got a pack of two squeaky bones so they can have two each. Um, so yeah, those are obviously 99p, so the squeaker bits are in the bottom just there. So, you know, they'll completely destroy them within a couple of moments, but for a nice little toy, they're nice and bright, and hopefully they'll last a little bit longer than the other ones I tend to buy. And then the last thing I bought were from, I think these are from B&M's, um, let's have a look. Yeah, they're from B&M's. But I found these in the kids section and they're just a packet of um, play balls. So they're really, really bright and as you can see they've got little stars over them. But these are actually really, really strong and I can't even squish them. Um, so I thought that these might work really well with the dogs and they might not be able to chew them up that easily. So these were one ninety nine for a pack of four. So I thought I'd go ahead and buy them because our dogs chew balls all the time. So I thought if I try these they might last a little bit longer. So I just went ahead and bought those for the dogs okay, as well. Okay, so last of all, moving on to what I got for the small animals. So the first three things I got were just packets of bedding. So I've been trying to find this bedding for ages and it's been really hard trying to get hold of it because obviously Wilkinson's don't sell it anymore. So whilst the shop had it in, I thought I'd just buy three packs of it. But as you can see, it is just the safe bed paper flakes. So this was only £1.9 a bag, which is really cheap, and it's obviously the shredded J cloth bedding. So I got one in blue, and then I got two in the multicoloured colours. So um, I absolutely love this bedding for my animals because it is super comfy, and they do prefer it, and um, it's just a little bit more colourful, and I don't really like using toilet paper and things for them. So I did just go ahead and stock up on those, and now I know where to get it from. I'm probably just going to go back and get a couple more. So like I said, those were only £1.8 a bag. So the next thing I got for the pets were just six new water bottles. So these were from Viovet. They were £4.62 for six, which I thought was really good. Um, and they sent me two of each colour as well, which was really nice of them. But um, the gerbils have got their glass water bottle and I want to get Bear a glass water bottle as well. So these bottles are just for the dwarfies and then they're for um, Remy as well. Um, but I've just bought a spare one just in case any of them were to break but um, I thought these were super cheap and it was either I think there's like 2p difference between the clear ones and the colour ones so I thought I might as well just go for the colour ones because they are a little bit brighter and they do add a little bit of colour to the cages and things so I don't know what these were individually but um, altogether it was £4.62 so I'm sure you guys can probably do the maths. I'll probably put like a little thing on the screen saying how much they were individually, but I have bought the bigger bottles as well because of it's getting warmer and the pets are probably gonna start drinking more. And obviously because I'm at work, I'm not gonna be able to just sit here and top bottles up all the time like I normally do. So I did go ahead and actually buy the hamster side rather than the mouse size this time. So as you can see in front of me, I have a mountain of food. Now I'm just gonna go through these really quickly because you guys have probably seen these in my videos thousand times before um but i'm just going to go through these super quick because of this is the main reason why i ordered from viovet to get all the food because it's just easier rather than having to go into like a hundred different shops to try and find the food which i need um so yeah anyways the first bag of food i picked up was for remy now this is his um supreme science selective pellet so i mix this in with his um other bag of food so Remy loves these and they're just like little long pellets so he only gets a couple at a time because they are quite big um but he does really enjoy them so I thought I'd buy some more so this is the 350 gram bag now for these it was um £2.57 which is really good and it is really cheap 
and then I also got the hamster version as well so obviously this is for the dwarfies mainly bear doesn't really tend to eat these but again it's the 350 gram bag and for these it was £2.27 so these ones are actually cheaper than the mouse ones um, and then the next thing I bought was a packet of the Burgess Super Gerbil Gerbil Granola so obviously this is the gerbils food and they do really seem to like this so this is the 700 gram bag and this has like mealworms and everything in it which um, the Supreme Pet Foods didn't have so hence the reason why I did move them all over to Burgess because there just seems to be a lot more variety in them so as you can see it says it's got exotic fruits in there so this is just the 750 gram bag and for these it was £2.91 which is a lot cheaper than most of my local stores um, and then I went ahead and bought two of the Burgess Dwarf Hamster Harvest because obviously I've got four dwarfs I do go through this stuff pretty quickly and the bags are smaller as well so this is the 700 gram bag again it's got mealworms and a really really good variety in there and these were how much are these these were five pound 84 for two so i think it works out about two pound 70 ish a bag i'll do the maths later at some point but the dwarfies love this and i would never feed a dwarf hamster any other food because of they just like this too much the seeds are a really good size for them and there is a lot of variety so i don't think i'd ever put my dwarfies on anything else um and then i also bought bear's food so she gets the burgess super hamster hamster harvest so this is the 750 gram bag again it's got mealworms it's got a great variety in it although i don't think this one's got as much variety as the dwarf one but bear still really seems to like it so I thought I'd pick some up for her because they were on um, Supreme Harry Hamster but none of them liked it and the gerbils didn't even like the um, gerbil version so um, I basically just moved them all onto Burgess. So for this one it was um, £2.90 so again a lot cheaper than my local stores. And then I did also buy Remy's food. So Remy is on the Mr. Johnson Supreme Rat and Mouse Mix. Um, so basically that is what it has inside it. Remy absolutely loves this food, although I have bought him another bag of food as well to see which one he prefers. But this is super cheap and he absolutely loves it, although it's probably not the best food to feed him. Um, but this is the... Where's the weight? This is a 900 gram bag, so it's a lot bigger than all the other bags of food which I bought. But for this, it was only £2.66, I think. Um, so again, oh wait. Yeah, £2.66. So again, really, really cheap. Remy absolutely loves it and there's a big variety in there for him. So hence the reason why he does get this, although it's probably not the best and it's probably not the healthiest. And then... The last thing I bought is actually from a local pet shop. Now, this is the shop where I actually bought Remy from. So, it's called Tiny Friends Farm. I've never seen this before, so I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try. So, it's the Reggie Rat and Mimi Mouse Mix. So, as you can see, it looks like it's got quite a lot of variety in there. This was only £2.79, so if he doesn't like it, then it doesn't really bother me. But, um... I thought I'd go ahead and give this a go and see what he thinks of it. There does look seem to be a wide variety of things in there for him. So let's see if we can find the English. There we go. I'm not sure if you could read it because of the light or anything, but that's basically all the composition and the feeding guide and everything in there. But I thought I'd go ahead and give it a go. And if he doesn't like it, then he doesn't like it. But if he likes it, then brilliant, because it means I could get it locally then. So this is just the 850 gram bag and like I said it was only £2.79. So then last of all from town I did just pick up some new sand baths for the dwarfies. So these are from like the summer living range in the pound shop but they're plastic, they're a good size so hopefully they'll last me a lot longer because I just put balls down and then lose them all the time. 
but I've got two green and two red so I thought these would be nice little sand baths so these were from the pound shop um, and also I got them some apple biscotti biscuits so again they really do like these they don't get these too often because they are apple and I do have quite a lot of dwarfies and most of them are prone to diabetes so hence the reason why they don't get these too often but I split them up into quarters and give them all a little bit each so again these were from the pound shop um, you do get quite a lot in the packet and they do actually taste really nice which kind of sounds weird um, I have tasted a couple and they are really nice so I can understand why the pets do like them but I just got those two I think they were from pound land maybe but I'm not 100% certain okay so here is just a quick overview of everything which I bought sorry this video felt like it was rushed um, I'm really ill my camera battery is about to die and I just don't feel like filming today because I feel so rough um, but I thought I'd just film a video because these have been sitting in a box for ages um, as you can see most of this is like food items and things like that but you know I thought I might as well buy them all and stock them all up seeing as they were going super cheap and I was ordering anyway and then obviously I've just got the stuff for Storm over there in the bucket as well so um, yeah as always thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe